hacked account at the SEC or a hacked account on X or the old Twitter. Bottom line, uh, waiting for this uh, ETF announcement that was going to include Bitcoin as part of its offerings here that would increase demand, uh, not only for Bitcoin, but a host of other crypto-related plays. Still waiting for that. Natalie Bushnell joins us, the Coin Stories the podcast host. Uh, Natalie, what's the story on this? Where does this stand? Uh, it was supposed to happen yesterday, today at the latest. It might still happen today. But what if it doesn't? Hi, Neil. Great to see you. You know, I think this was one last rug pull on these spot ETFs for old time's sake. And yes, I think it's still going to happen today. It's been a long time coming. And these regulators and issuers have been going over every detail of these spot Bitcoin ETFs and pretty much cleared their holiday schedules the last two months to only work on this. So, yes, I see it still happening. And there has never been so much anticipation for an ETF in the history of this investment vehicle. So... What would drive it and what would the difference be of an ETF set up to include it? So I think this is going to bring in a lot of investors who weren't able to allocate to Bitcoin. Financial advisors will now be incentivized and have a fiduciary responsibility to tell their clients about Bitcoin. It will bring in the RIAs, the pension funds, the endowments. Mm. And pretty soon, Bitcoin will be part of every portfolio. And, you know, I think that this is really historic because it signals that Bitcoin is being accepted as an essential asset within the upper echelons of traditional finance. And I think a lot of people don't realize how impactful Bitcoin will be and how many billions of dollars will flow into it. And what I think is amazing, Neil, is 15 years ago, a new technology and a new form of money emerged organically, completely bottom up. And it's now a major asset class with some of Wall Street's biggest firms jockeying to win liquidity in their new ETF when it gets approved. But this really is a working class phenomenon that trickled up. And so now the titans and legends of investing are realizing that no asset carries the promise and the potential of Bitcoin. And I think the ETF will just be the first of many developments on the path to every person and every business saving in Bitcoin and becoming more economically empowered. Do you think once we get that clearance or we see it, I'm told it's just a matter of time. Uh, it is a game changer because when it looked like we had it versus when it looked like we didn't have it, I didn't see much in terms of price swings uh, yesterday on all of this. It was like, yeah, it's volatile anyway, but it was hardly crazy either way. That's right. And I think we should expect some short term volatility as the market digests the news. But when we zoom out, I expect to see tens of billions of dollars in flows. And we're going to see really aggressive jockeying by all the issuers who want that top spot, which will come down to liquidity. All right. I'll watch closely. Natalie, thank you. Good seeing you again. Thanks for having me.